Oh, that's actually a semi over. Buttons do four things. Each one. All right, so today I'm going to show you how to simply make Muse support PHP code right into your Muse um, creation without all the extra work of having to edit the source code after it's been exported and changing file extensions and all that extra nonsense. Um, this will require that your host allows you to make modifications uh, using the HT access file um, in your public HTML folder. I'm going to show you an example here on a cPanel server, but you can do this pretty much with any server as long as they allow the HT access uh, settings to take, take effect. Um, if not, you may be able to request the host to allow you to enable that support. Um, but this is a lot easier and will allow you to be able to uh, just use the standard uh, publishing features built right in Amuse without having to do any additional work once you get this HC access file set up. So first what I'm going to do is make a simple test site. And this is just going to be really simple. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I am going to insert some, I'll just do some other stuff too first so it kind of looks like we got something. So we're going to go in here. And there we go. Yay. All right. So we have our code right here. Um, now we take this and we go back here. We go object and insert HTML. And I'm going to insert a piece of PHP code and I'm going to just have it show the PHP info. It's just, just, just a function in PHP, really simple. And so we're inserting that code. So there's our HTML code, or our PHP code in this case. Wham. All right. Again, I didn't do really fancy on the formatting here, but you get the idea. So now we go ahead and export this. You will publish it to your host, just like you normally would do. Um, I'm not going to show all that part because it has my usernames and passwords and stuff, but you basically publish it to your host. Now, once it's published to your host, I'll show you the next step. Okay, so here we are. We are now in my test folder, and there you see our hello world. Let's go ahead and look at the source as it's been published and you go through yada 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 and then you will see right here here's my PHP code and as you see we don't see anything yet there's nothing showing so this is when you go back into cPanel so now we're going to go into cPanel okay so now if we're in cPanel we're going to go into the file manager so we go into the file manager and you want to make sure this box is checked right here uh, that says show hidden files uh, you want that checked so that you can see the hidden files. So then once you're in cPanel, you're going to find an HT access file. We need to highlight that. We need to edit it. So here's the contents of our HT access file. Like I say, if you go back to our page, you see no code. So let's go back here and we're going to edit the HT access file and we are going to then on the HT access file, we're going to post some paste some code that tells it to parse .html files and PHP files as PHP. So we're going to paste that code in here. So you've got a couple lines. We add the type. It's HTML text, and any extension that has HTML or .php will classify as that. Um, the PHP handler. We're going to parse it if it has the .html or the PHP extension. Uh, and then we're telling it it's going to use this module uh, this for uh, any time it gets to an HTML or a PHP file, it's going to run it through basically PHP 5. Um, now, depending on what PHP you have on here, uh, you can rim this out and unrim the one that's fitting for your thing. But So now we go ahead and save that to the HT access file. Now, we basically told 
Anytime you have a file that ends in .html, to parse it just like you would any file that ends in .php. So now let's go back to the home page, and we're going to go ahead and refresh. And look at that. You now have PHP file directly inside a Muse script. No need to change file extensions. No need to edit, edit files uh, after the fact and tell it to uh, you know, look for a file ending now in PHP. It can end with the .html, as you can see. This is the actual file I'm calling. There it is. And again, that's all you have to do so that you can now embed PHP directly into your Muse script, simply be able to publish it to your site every time without having to do a lot of modifications after you've finished your work. Simple, to the point, no wasting of time. Again, depending on your host, you may have to ask for them to enable the ability for you to set that in an HD access file. Um, if you own your own server, you don't even have to do it in an HD access file. You can do it in the config file for the web server. Um, but this is just one way to do it. Um, so there you go. Thank you.